All right, guys, what's going on? It's Jack, and welcome back to another video. So uh, over the last day or two, there's been uh, some updates, little updates from Mark Rubin that I actually initially at first didn't really know about until I did a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, searching just here and there just by complete luck on Twitter, and I found a couple of gems that you guys might want to know about. So this is going to be referring to three things specifically in this video. Number one is going to be an, uh, a little update on the net code, giving us a few more details. Number two, there's going to be talk about the spider bot, which is something that's been a really big conversation within the community. It's even something of a conversation on stream every single time you guys see me get face hugged by one of these things and how that's actually going to get a complete replacement actually it's going to be it's going to be different and then uh the third part is going to be about the combat record update which is actually quite juicy when i first saw it the other day and uh you know believe it or not a lot of people actually care about that it's not just the super tryhards either it's also the the people that are not uh super tryhards but without further ado let's let's get into it so this actually originally started with a conversation from z to mark rubin and he sent the question again and mark responded this time so z asks when will we be able to give battle passes to items in the store to other players i want to send some to my subscribers for challenges and mark rubin responded with that it is on the list but there are some higher priority items first and he got a response from another person on that asking is the net code still on the list and this is where mark gives us a little bit of an update he says net code is the highest priority right now we are looking at ways to reduce the amount of data we send back and forth once we do that we should be able to have a higher automatic packet reset frequency those two things plus a dozen or other changes or so other changes should improve the net code a pretty good amount now the last time we got a little bit of a word an update from mark rubin he had basically mentioned if if uh, memory serves correctly that it should be somewhere in the beginning of season two to where we should start feeling a difference in the net code so i'm assuming uh, in season two is when we're going to see like overall like some of the biggest improvements and then uh, and then obviously by the time season three hits, hopefully net code will be something that we'll have in our rear view mirror and we don't have to pretty much worry about it ever again fingers crossed here's hoping but Here's when we get into juicy details about the spider bot that a lot of players in the community have been curious about. So uh, he gets a question that asks, it's the spider bot for me. No other ability just immobilizes you and takes you out of the flow of game like that thing. And Mark actually responded and says, it's getting replaced. Early prototype currently makes it to follow the user and creates an EMP field. Great for diving in and taking out any abilities like shields and also means a cleaner wouldn't be able to firebomb you. So as you can see, just from this little response alone, you can see right then and there that the spider bot is pretty much not going to be the same thing anymore. So for me personally, I would say that this is quite exciting uh, for, for me personally. Now let's get into part three of this video. And this is absolutely huge, at least to me. So uh, combat record changes. So we're not just going to be seeing the stats that we've been seeing in this very bare bones and barely functional, if, if not functional at all, type of combat record that we've been getting now, or should I say a stats page or whatever you want to call it. So, and I mean that with all due respect, but I think we all know that it's just not working properly or at least not on all modes. But anyway, uh, when we get this update so for the career statistics se section so uh we, we don't know when this update is coming but i'm assuming it's going to be here by season two uh sometime during season two if not definitely by season three so uh they're going to be tracking these following stats you ready for this it's going to be weapon prestigious so some of these things by the way give hints right so it goes weapon prestigious assists mmr every single mode kills kill death ratio time alive for factions sidearm kills one shot kills headshot kills damage dealt to equipment hip fire kills kill streaks emojis used average high fives a game time playing mvp count faction score per minute tag enemy ghillie suit headshot accuracy weapon accuracy damage dealt with abilities time sprinted when holding while holding sidearm best rank per season and current rank so there's a lot here that basically this is tracking and uh, there's some word that there may be additional things in the future that this will track as well not just these stats but possibly a few other stats here and there so 
if you ask me, this is actually pretty damn good. It's a it's a pretty damn good start. And uh, I remember that ever since the days of Black Ops 1, I think we all remember the good old Black Ops 1 combat record and how epic that was. You know, Black Ops 1 was literally a really good way of of examining your own stats. And of course, the combination of that and theater mode, uh, which is said to be coming at some point in time, I think, in X Defiant. I'm not sure when or if I'm not sure if that's still a thing, but I think they're still working on something like that. But uh, but obviously there are other things that are more important. Right. So kill cams is one of them. Right. But anyway, uh, going back on topic here. Uh, the combat record for Black Ops 1 was very, very epic, and it allowed the player to see what their strengths were, what their weaknesses were, what they were dying the most from, etc., etc. And then things just ended up getting a lot more advanced since then. Well, at least for the next couple of CODs, right? Because with Modern Warfare 3, back, the original Modern Warfare 3, we ended up having this thing called Elite, right? And Elite just tracked stats like it was nobody's business. And it was really in-depth. And I think a lot of players really appreciated that. Plus, there were also accolades and medals and stuff like that that were that were tracked as well and had leaderboards, which was pretty cool. So um, eventually, this is going to come because usually when it comes to things like combat records, you know that leaderboards sooner or later are going to play into the role, right? Like leaderboards, uh, excuse me, uh, the combat record is kind of like your own personal stats page, obviously, right? But it's in my eyes, it's kind of like a precursor to leaderboards because leaderboards and combat records are pretty much like peanut butter and jelly. So if we get combat rec statistics like this that record this much, I think it's safe to assume that we're going to be getting leaderboards. Now, we know we're going to be getting them in ranked, but as a person who's not really interested in ranked, I'm interested in pubs. I want to know you know, what my leaderboards are in pubs. As you guys know, xdefiant.gg is not exactly a, uh, you know, a complete stack tracker, right? It's, it's pretty much all we got at this point, and I'm sure we're grateful to even have that. But with that being said, I think we can use something a little bit more sophisticated. So with that being said, guys, I want to end it with a question for you. What do you guys think about all these stats that were mentioned as far as a combat record goes? What do you guys think about the spider bot change? Do you welcome it or do you, would you prefer it to be something different? And of course, what are your thoughts on the NEP code? And of course, uh, we also know through this tweet, we, we all we all pretty much knew this or assumed it at least, right? That uh, NEP code was probably the number one priority as it should be, but it's really good to actually get that confirmation despite the fact that we we knew that it was. I mean, when it comes to a multiplayer first person shooter, the number one priority first and foremost should always be connection especially when you have a game that is literally ping is king right to where connection is the number one thing when it comes to matchmaking which this game is thank god so uh i, I think it's only a matter of time before x defiant really feels good and a lot more responsive and that much better because as you guys know net code is literally something that will be a deal breaker for people if it's not up to par and that's another reason why a lot of people left so uh, a lot of people are just waiting for netcode to get fixed and then they'll come back. So that's going to be another thing uh, along with the season two and content coming forward. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to end it here. This all sounds really good to me and I want to know what it sounds like to you. And as always, I like to thank everybody for taking the time to watch and or listen. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys on the next one.